Ken Folk, what is the deal? It's your boy D. Jost coming at you another YouTube video here today. And we are back on the Fear Factor Season 1, Episode 5. Let's get it, man. So y'all seen what happened in the last Fear Factors, you know. We still coming to that 50K. We still trying to get to that 50K. You feel me? I'm 3 for 1 right now. Calling out who's going to be the winner. The last the last uh, team let me down. <laughs> you feel me? So... Hey, I'm about to call out the winner this time. And we're about to win. We're about to go 4 and 1. It's all right. But, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Before that, though, you see I got a haircut. <laughs> you see the spinners. You see the spinners. <laughs> the tsunami. <laughs> let's get to the video, man. Let's go ahead and do this. Imagine a world where your greatest fears become reality. Fear factor. Got some of that. Welcome to Coca-Cola. Each show, six contestants from around the country battle each other in three extreme stunts. These stunts are designed to challenge the contestants. I'll be damn when a dog come over and try to bite me in my ass. And mentally, if a contestant is too afraid to complete a stunt, they're eliminated. There's no way I'm jumping in there. There's no way. If they fail a stunt, they're eliminated. But if they succeed, they move one step closer to the grand prize. Fifty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand dollars. Three studs. One winner. Yes! Come on, let's get it, bro. Why is this just showing them my stuff? Joe Rogan, welcome to Fear Factor. The stunts you're about to see were designed and supervised Damn. by trained professionals. They are extremely dangerous. They should not be attempted by anyone, anywhere. One second, hold anytime. on. Oh, oh, what's going on? There we go. Three men, three women, three stunts. You already know the deal. Let's get it. Damn. I feel like that's gonna be the I feel like that's gonna be the next little thing. They keep showing it over and over again. You might have to get attacked by a dog for the one time. Look, look. And I call this shit out. You about to get attacked by a full fledged dog. K9. Have to dress up like inmates? What is this? Oh, <laughs> this is real inmates that we've seen. <laughs> Police officer. Okay. Still F12. Club DJ. You have to be focused on achieving whatever goal is set for you to achieve. My yeah, goal is nice. for my kids. I did not come all the way out here to lose. And this is really a big personal challenge for me to confront some of my fears. Right, executive. And, uh, hopefully come up a winner. I feel like Mark is not going to win. The competition is just taking it in stride, whatever they throw at you. A writer? Because if you do I, it with mm, a I don't know. Set yourself out. Let's see. Promotions. She a hustler, bro. She a hustler. I'm calling it right now. It's going to be either the police officer for the guys or the promotion lady. Now, to win the cash, you're going to have to complete three extreme stunts. Stunts that will not only test you physically, but mentally as well. When the stunt comes up, if you're too afraid to attempt the stunt, you're out of the game. If you attempt the stunt but fail to complete it, you're out of the game. But if you do succeed, you move on to the next round and you're that much closer to the cash. This first stunt, you will have a starter's pistol. You will fire off your starter's pistol and you will run from that cone there to those three cones down there. Sounds simple enough, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, here's the twist. Sit that shit up in your ass. Once you fire oh, off and you run, a trained attack dog will take you out. What? I'm dead serious. The dog will attack you. He already know the deal. He a police Your officer. He been you know, through this shit already. To make it across that finish line in less than a minute. If you make it across the finish line, you're fine. You move on to the next round and you're that much closer to the cash. If you do not make it across that finish line, it all depends on how far you go. Because the two people that are furthest from the finish line will be eliminated from the game. Are they muzzled? No, they are not muzzled. You'll be wearing a padded suit. What kind of question is that? No matter what. Oh, the no dog's going to hit you. No no matter matter oh, my God. Believe me. Oh, my God. This is what I want you to do. You all have name tags with your names on them, correct? I want you to put them in here. <laughs> That shit like fun though. I ain't gonna lie. It ain't gonna hurt for real, for real. Cause you get the little pattern stuff on. Mia. Yeah. You're number one, babe. You go first. Okay. 
All right, man, come on. Let's get you suited up. Hey, are you worried? <laughs> I know that nurse. That nurse right now is scared for her life. <laughs> Mia, Mia, ready to go. She ain't scared of nothing. So why are you doing this show? What's your motivation? Because I like challenges. Life is all about taking risks. Really? Yeah, absolutely. That's why you did it for the challenge. Definitely not for the money, and it's definitely not for the exposure. It's to see if it's I can do it. Definitely not for the money or the exposure. Cap. Big cap. Yeah. Do you have an album out or anything? Yeah. Really? I'm not DJ Mia. I might not be doing that hot. She needs that bread. So now it's getting, you know, crunch time. You shoot it up. What are you thinking now? Does peeing my pants count as uh, being scared? <laughs> no, that's good. It throws them off. The scent. Now remember, it's right. about as far as you get because two people will definitely be eliminated. And those are the two people that are the furthest from the finish line. I ain't going to lie. That's going to be mine, too. That's the big, that's the big one. Okay, with my face right mask. I don't know. No me ain't got really got no. Me ain't got no bones. I mean, me ain't, me ain't got no meat on her. How do you feel now? There was no face mask. That dog about to take her down. She all bones. If they only made it that short, they wouldn't have made it that easy. Are you afraid of dogs? I got bit by one. I have 31 stitches on my face when I got bit by a dog. 31 stitches. See, she, she, she already know. It's your job. To make it across that finish line in less than a minute. Are you ready? Go right ahead. Fire anytime you want. Oh my god. Boy, I'm woo, woo. Oh man, that motherfucking dog about to That motherfucker strong, ain't it? Oh, you can still keep going after even if you fail? I thought if you guys just run that mug and they they die they die let her get her shit no though <laughs> they better jack that fucking dog ah motherfucker that dog ain't that strong you better start digging you better. You get up and start walking with that motherfucker drug. The motherfucker drug. What the fuck I'm talking about? What the fuck I'm talking about? I can't even talk. You better get up and drag that motherfucking dog. As soon as that dog, <laughs> that is motherfucking strong. <laughs> as soon as that dog cut her ass, damn, that motherfucker strong. Well, you got close. I didn't do what I wanted to do, Janet. What, what did you do, Santa? I wasn't in an operating room. Dude? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So when this dog has you here, open, you'll hook us up? <laughs> Okay, come on. Right. What kind of question is that? Your dog rip, rip us open, you hook us up. <laughs> what? Motherfucker is a nurse. It is not a damn. Come on, bro. Not a doctor. You guarantee this. Yeah. All right. That's a bigger dog than attacking me, isn't it? Think about sizing that dog up, trying to get in his head. You know. This is his head. Ready? Bite. Kill. Sleep. That dog about to drag your stupid ass. Bad take. Yum! Go! 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 Commercial. And we're back from commercial. Just that quick. Once you fire that starter's pistol, a trained attack dog will take you out. Whenever you're ready, fire the gun! Cow. Take off. On oh, me. That dog ain't catching me. That dog ain't catching me. That motherfucker's strong. That would have been me right there. On me, that would have been, boy. He did what he's supposed to. Mark did what he's supposed to do. And he had a good, he had a good little gap on the dog too. Shit. Yeah, it's a little. You better man that shit up. Let's go, Mark. Oh me! Great job! Awesome. Dog gonna bite that ass, boy. You, you a track star. 
Ready to rock and roll? Ready. Are you ready? All right, come on. Let's take her down here and get her okay. suited up. Okay. Look, it didn't even really do it. I mean, it hurt when he, because he had me like this, but didn't even do anything. Break the skin. Did he break the skin on you? No. No, but he, I got a big bruise, like, in three places on my arm. Oh, my gosh. It didn't hurt at the time, but now it's, like, swelling up. I mean, there's a, there's a bump there really bad. Yeah, all right. It hurts to bend it. So what are you going to do with the money if you get it? Oh, so if one of these girls passed that, that, that line. Yeah. You still want to do it? I know she's going to be feeling upset. What about when you hear the dog growl? Then you got to get nervous? Go on, we'll run fast. All right. You ready, Sandra? You better take off, Sandra. You ready? You ready? You better, Sandra, you better take off. What's up, my run? Is, run, girl. Get going. Get, girl, you ain't running fast enough. You got to get going. That motherfucker got your ass. Oh, Lord. That motherfucker dog got that ass. That girl ain't used to the dog up in her ear. Oh, wee. Uh, she ain't giving up. I gotta give it to Sandra, but I know she's tired as hell because that's too heavy as hell. Ooh, chest on fire. And now your arm getting gnawed on. Time! Chris. How are you, Sandra? You okay? Yeah. You alright? Yeah. Sandra got her ass whooped. Oh my god, I didn't realize how heavy the party's gonna take me down. <laughs> Damn, motherfucker, strong. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good on in the head. Felt a little shy of her pink flag. Ah. Okay. Oh. You never know. I'm okay. You might get through it. Hopefully. The dude's very scared. What's his name? Ari? Is he for... Oh, he's petrified. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Your arm? It's already bruising. Stop it... playing with it. No, if I rub it, it'll massage. If I massage it, it kind of like evens out the pain. What the heck is she talking about? So let's get Ari padded up. You ready to do it, dude? Oh, yeah. first time. Yeah. You gotta do it, though. I gotta see this. I don't think, I, I ain't gonna lie, I don't think Ari got in him. He look a little soft. These are my toe socks. You have a toe ring in your toe socks? Yeah. And you wear them on your own free will? What did I say, man? Didn't I say Ari look a little soft? I mean, got Christmas socks on and a toe ring. What are we talking about? She got a bruise in her She said she didn't. And he's scared about the bruise too. Nah, he's scared too. Think she's trying to like get some sympathy? No, like make you scared. Thinking it's gonna bite. Oh, you. it worked too. That boy terrified. She's trying to play with your head. She said it's a little dog. That dog's gonna plow him. Oh yeah. Yeah, you talk a lot of crap. That dog's big. You're out of your mind. That dog is big and he's gonna hit him hard. You ready, Harry? Yeah. Okay, on your mark, whenever you want, go. Hey. Hey. Damn, that was strong. Oh, he, hey, uh, yeah, yeah, bear crawl that, bear crawl that. You got that. Bear crawl that, bear crawl that. Money, money, money. That's money right there. That's easy money. That's easy money. Yes, sir. He actually made it. I doubted him, too. But he got in there, bear crawled that thing with the toe ring. Yeah, Fuck it. With the toe ring. How was that? This suit is heavy. How was it? You alright? Yeah. At least he made it. Got a little pinch. A little pinch? You wanna get up, man? Need some? No. Oh. That boy gassed out. You gonna lie there for a minute? You alright? That boy tired. You did it! Alright. Two people made it. Across the line. That police officer better not. He can't fail. If he yeah, fail, like, they're going to make fun of him because he's a police officer. Round. You think you talk to me some more? Oh, yeah, we're going to have a great time. Man, you, you had, had it. You had it. Jeez. Uh, uh, are you a cop or something? Yeah. yeah. Hey, yo. <laughs> Tell me he don't look like Joe Rogan, though. They look like twins. He just look a taller version of him, bro. Look at it. Look at Joe Rogan. <laughs> No matter what, you're in the next round. You think you're talking to some more? Oh, yeah, we're gonna have a great time. You had it, you had it. Jeez. Are you a cop or something? Look, look, Joe Rogan, look at him. That's his big brother. I don't even need training. I see what's going on. Y'all trying to, if he wins, something going on, because he look like him and they gonna split the money. Oh, his name Pete. Okay, Pete the cop. Pete the pig, I'm out. Pete, hashtag Pete the pig, I'm out.
All this is such a good way to describe it. Totally antsy right now. Did you, you can't go down now, right? Not after Mark stayed up. Yeah. Is that going through your head right now? I just want to get past those two flags. That's all that That's matters. it? That's all you care? What if you fall Damn, they're the same walk. Y'all seen it? Y'all seen how they zoom in on his legs? They got the same walk. They laugh the same. Same hand movements. Look at his hand movements. They doing the same thing. Pete the pig, let's get it. Hey! That nigga's running for his life. Got his ass caught. Oh, he running. What the dog? Strong ass motherfucker, boy. Damn, Pete the Pig doing his motherfucking thing. Pete, you stud. <laughs> the freak. I think you should be disqualified for knocking over the cones. La 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 la. That song is stuck in my head right now. I'm sorry, I'm singing it. She's about to let me down already. I'm kicking ass. What am I talking about? I'm getting you're down. ferocious dog. I'm making a little pansy puppy that you got. Yeah, you got that pansy, you got puppy, the pansy puppy, man. Hey, I'll be here tomorrow. Call my dude, Bud Dog, Big and Small. Mm -hmm. That's the you have to be. You have to be the two girls that didn't make it. Right. Yeah. You just have to crawl. She's going to be the only girl. And Sandra, and you're in. Then you know that you're but not she gonna make it. You better run your you motherfucking ass off. Right there, right, you're oh gosh, she's already suited up. Is that the same suit we used? Yep. Yeah. Damn, that motherfucker is puffed up, okay. puffer fish. I think I'm that girl like a strawberry. Than the others because I was that girl like a bottle of Petro Bismo. I felt this before. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, this is your flag. Right here. Oh, man. Why'd you hold a gun like that? I'm out. Anytime you're ready, shoot it! Go, girl, go! <laughs> that girl scream. Take off, girl. Commercial. And we're back from commercial. Just that fast. Boy, I'm good. If you get past that pink flag right there, right, you're in. Man. Then you're in. Let's go, Gina. That motherfucker. Mark, Mark. Right there. Uh, take out Gina. 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 Ooh, got your ass. God damn. 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 That dog flipped her stupid ass. Go, Gina. Go, Gina. Go, girl. I got this pass a pink flag and you won. Get in there, girl. Do it. Do it! That dog beat her. She's talking about some stop, stop. She made it! God damn! She ain't in like swimwear, boy. Now she gotta do is make it. Be the be the first girl to make the shit. Fuck it. Be the first girl. That dog whooping her ass. She said, "Quit it! It hurts." <laughs> Quit it! Stop! Stop that! That girl, little pow, vroom. That girl got her ass whooped. I, I told you she gonna be the what? Well, I tell you, Pete and motherfucking Gina, going one of them gonna win. My hands need to be inside and they're not. I was looking for his shadow. You see him creeping up on you? Uh -uh. He just came at me. I went down. Damn. All right, well, congratulations, Gina. That was a tremendous effort. Thank you. Congratulations to the rest of you guys for making it to the second day. Unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to Sandra and Mia. Damn. Guys, thanks for well, that'll be the first part of the episode five, season one of Fear Factor. And yeah, man, appreciate y'all sticking around, watching it to the end. Make sure y'all leave a like, subscribe if y'all haven't already. And y'all be easy, bro. See y'all in the next one. Peace.